what's going on everybody quick video here so i vouched to test out every single new chi2 battery pack that comes on the market and here's a new one from anchor the anchor chi2 mago power bank ultra slim i also reviewed the new chi2 battery packs from belkin esr and Mophie, so be sure to check out those videos. This new Chi2 battery pack is available on Amazon for around $70. The link is down below. It has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery and not 5,000. And this is the smallest 10K pack out right now. That's Chi2. Take a look at this next to ESR's new 5K Chi2 battery pack. The dimensions are nearly identical, though the anchor pack is still slightly larger. It's impressive that anchor managed to pack 10,000 milliamps into such a compact design Design, making it noticeably smaller than other 10k packs. I'm curious to see how this slimmer size impacts charging speeds and heat management. I'm going to test this on iPhone and Android and compare the results with the king of wireless charger packs, the Fat Anchor 10k pack, which I tested a couple of months back. It doesn't have a kickstand this time around, and it doesn't have that sweet LED screen from the old fatter pack. There's a USB Type-C port on the charger and a Type-C cord in the box. This wirelessly charges at 15 watts and the pack recharges the battery at 30 watts. This is a great feature because other battery packs take considerably longer to recharge. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has a 4,440 milliamp hour battery. Full battery specs are listed. Remember that the smaller the battery, the less time it takes to charge up and Apple usually has smaller batteries than similar sized Android phones. I should also mention that charging wattage fluctuates throughout the process, influenced by factors like battery temperature, phone temperature, and even the surrounding environment. During this charging test, I'll highlight three key points. The 30 minute mark, the one hour mark, and the time it takes to reach 80% charge. From my testing, all chargers tend to slow down between 70% and 80% to protect battery health, so I'll focus on speeds up to 80% as going beyond wouldn't give a realistic view of charging performance. All right, really quick here. If you have an expensive iPhone, it's very important to keep that thing protected. This is a bona fide, dummy proof, idiot proof, tempered glass installation kit. So I feel like it was specifically made for me. This is an updated box series kit from Smart Devil. Thanks for sponsoring this video. It comes with an installation clamp that you literally just put your phone in, close it, pull the tab, and you're done. There's a bunch of instructions and tools and you get three different tempered glass protectors just in case you mess up. It's only $12 at the time of shooting this video so this is a great price. If you're interested click the link in the bio for more information and be sure to use the code in the description to get your discount. So I slapped on the charger when the iPhone was at 1%. After 30 minutes, the phone charged to 30%. After one hour, 49%. After two hours, the phone got to 80%. And after about three hours, the phone was fully charged. The charger remained cool throughout the charge and I ran the test three times. Comparing this to the fat anchor pack, the slim charges the iPhone just a tiny bit slower. The graphs are shown here. The fat anchor pack maintains a faster charging rate even after 70% phone charge, which is actually incredible. From all the chargers I've tested, the fat anchor charger charges the iPhone the fastest. But I do want to point out that after charging the iPhone 15 Pro Max from 0 to 100, the slim charger had two lights left, indicating the pack was at 50% charge but on the fatter anchor pack with the LED screen, I got around 28% charge left on the battery, but I think this difference is because the LED screen gives you a more accurate depiction of how much charge is left instead of the four lights. Now on the Android side, I tested this charger on the great Nothing Phone 2, which has a 4,700 milliamp hour battery. I used a case and a MagSafe ring to connect the charger. Unsurprisingly, the phone charged incredibly slow, taking over two hours to fully charge the phone. This is expected because Androids don't support MagSafe or Qi2, so we don't get that 15 watt charging speed. As always, I recommend using a short USB cable to charge your Android phone. This is what I do personally because I daily drive the Nothing phone. I'm team Android, but I love the MagSafe utility a lot, so much so that I make these videos. When using a cable, the Android phone charged to 100% in one and a half hours. That's basically a fraction of the time spent when charging wirelessly. Links for the Halo Lock ring and tiny cords are down below. 
In conclusion, if you have an iPhone, this is a great 10K charger given that this is the smallest Qi 2 10K pack out right now, though the fatter 10K pack does charge faster. If you're on Android, like always, I would advise you to use a USB type C cord. ESR just came out with a Qi 2 5K pack. Check out my review on that as well. Thumbs if you liked the video, subs if you loved it, comment if you have any questions. I'll talk to y'all later.